Whether you've sent employees away for training, attended workshops, or read a book on selling, you probably encountered this scenario. When you got through, you were stumped about how to implement the information. That's because most sales training is taught generically to quote unquote work for any industry. The problem is it leaves the responsibility on the student's or manager's shoulder to figure out how to use it. And that means one thing, it'll never happen. Because it's too confusing, and with their busy schedules, who has the time to figure it out? Your employees will learn every phase of the sales process in an easy, step-by-step -step formula. Everything from how to properly greet a customer to closing sales and overcoming objections and upselling. In today's session, you'll learn the seven steps of the sales process, which includes a simple introduction that'll give you an incredible advantage for closing more sales. Point number one, don't rush in. Customers expect us to rush right in and solve their problems immediately, if not sooner, especially when they're standing outside waiting. Of course, we want to be the tech to the rescue, but we also want to gain control of the call. By slowing down, it's point number seven, don't ask, how are you? Asking how are you is a common mistake because it's part of normal conversations. Understand that the greeting is very powerful and it accomplishes many things. And the quickest way to crush a great introduction is to ask how a customer is doing because the tone and direction will change abruptly. The introduction is where we want you to shine. You're on stage and in the spotlight. We don't want our audience or customer to lessen the impact we're trying to create. Therefore, we'll get to your issue in a moment, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, but first, let me impress you. Once the customer tells you what their issues are, it's time to empathize with them. When you show empathy, you're putting yourself in your customer's shoes. You're seeing things from their perspective. And what do we gain from this? Actually, we gain a lot of benefits. The thing is, when you expose pain, you'll get a real clear indication of how motivated they are to fix the issue. And if they've been experiencing the pain or inconvenience for a long period of time, they just want it to go away. Get rid of it and I'll pay you to do it. Now the biggest benefit we get from delivering an agenda is that there's no surprises. The customer knows exactly what to expect. They know exactly what you'll be doing as well as what they'll be doing. And this is a great line because people like options. One complaint I hear from dissatisfied customers is they felt pushed into making a decision if there's only one choice. Customers love the feeling that they're in control. They decide the outcome and they like that. The good news for us is that every one of the options are in our favor. You'll earn more money, your customers will be raving about you, and it seems like the more they buy, the happier they are. The strange thing is, is that it seems like the more you sell the customer, the happier they are. The more quality things that they have in their plumbing system, the happier they are. They feel like they got a better deal when you give them more options. For you know, a lot of people, because of the money I'm making right now, uh, a lot of people ask, are you, are you ripping people off? Are you working a scam or what's going on? Uh, and, and what I tell people, the, the more money that I tend to, or the, the more things I sell to people and the more money they're spending, it seems like the happier they are. Uh, you know, I, I have the highest customer satisfaction rating out of my company. Uh, I get letters and recommendations. I have people that email the company all the time, letting them know I was out. I, you know, they bought all these things, but they're gonna tell all their friends. They're telling their family, they're telling other businesses with the, the commercial side of it. Uh, it it's, it's not about ripping people off, it's about going in and, and if you see something that's broke, let them know about it. You'd be surprised at how many people, they didn't fix it because they didn't know it was broke. The only difference between you and your competitors is how you deliver your service. That's it, how you deliver your service. Think about it, you're all selling the same exact products. One company might have a larger variety, but it's still the same stuff. You're selling, servicing, repairing, and installing the same stuff. The only difference is how you're doing it. Now this is the service and repair industry, but the hard-hitting truth is there are plenty of repair shops, but there are very few service and repair shops. The, there's a lot of companies that claim to be service organizations or service shops. Uh, to me, they're repair shops. Uh, here we are service. Uh, from the moment the phone is answered by, by our CSRs, uh, they get nothing but professionalism from the girls in the office answering the phones. Uh, they get the phone call before we go out. Um, they get floor protectors and a business card and an pro appropriate greet when we get there. Um, we keep them informed at all times. At this point, we've got a clear understanding about value and how our customers are willing to pay more to get more. 
We've also got a better idea about what's happening in the industry and the level of service our customers are used to receiving. Surprisingly enough, it's very easy to beat the competition because, quite frankly, many of them just don't deliver. The top 10 benefits for delivering VIP treatment are, one, we can charge higher prices. Two, we'll encounter fewer price concerns. Three, we'll build a superior quality image. Four, customers will act on our recommendations. Five, there'll be an increase of word of mouth advertising and testimonials. Six, referrals will skyrocket. Seven, no more slow times. Eight, you'll see a huge increase in service maintenance agreement sales. Nine, it builds customer loyalty. And 10, you'll gain higher job satisfaction. Well, the first powerful benefit of delivering VIP treatment is we can charge higher prices. We already know that when we deliver more, we can charge more. But what does that mean to us? Well, higher profits. Another reason why upselling is so important is because customers aren't experts in your field. They generally don't know what's available. They only know something isn't working. So when we upsell, we're offering options to improve their lives by making things work better, faster, cheaper, and more convenient. If it weren't for upselling, we'd still be driving horse and buggy. So upselling allows for industry breakthroughs, the latest and greatest, to get into the hands of your customers and they'll love you for it. The thing is, if we don't let customers know about all the options when we sell them a system and they find out later about them and want them, how do we look in their eyes? Disappointed would be an understatement. This happens all the time in every industry. You buy a car, a stereo, a computer, a widget for the house, and later you find out there were other options available that would have made your life so much better. Not only are we disappointed, but buyer's remorse sets in, and it makes us even more apprehensive the next time we buy. So never feel awkward about letting your customers know about all the great products and services you offer, because most likely, they'll buy them. Now the walkthrough, like upselling, is something that many techs feel awkward about doing, because again, they were called there for one thing, and that's what the customer asked for. The walkthrough, however, is a powerful opportunity to not only make more money, but you can give incredible value with your customers. Understand that when someone sits down to compare bids, they're doing it in a nice quiet place and they're reading these proposals, they're looking over the numbers, which are a bunch of facts. But when they come to your bid, they're gonna see past those numbers on the page. They're gonna be swimming in the value bucket that you built for them. They're gonna remember all the great reasons why they need to do business with your company, even though you may charge more than everyone else. I get calls all the time from techs telling me that customers call them back saying you were twice the price, but we decided to go with you instead. So remember that when it comes to bids, we aren't playing the odds. It's an opportunity for you to shine and to win their business. So what is closing anyway? Well, it's really simple. It's getting a customer to say yes. That's it. Doesn't get any simpler than that. It's just getting a yes. The thing is to close sales, it takes a series of yeses, not just the final yes when they say I'll take it. Closing happens throughout the presentation from the very moment they see us drive up to when we say goodbye, we're closing every step of the way. 